Next on Great Day at 9A, snow, snow, snow. How the rest of the day will go after our state gets inches of snow. Why just taking a walk is so underrated. Some unexpected activities that can help get you moving in today's 5-Minute Fitness. Where you can find out if you're naughty or nice. Meet the Grinch and get your perfect tree. Marcy's live at a local family farm to check it out. And Chef Allie will have us all thinking tropical with an incredible ice cream you can put on the menu every single day. It's all ahead on Great Day at 9A. <laughs> Hello! And welcome to Great Day at 9 a.m. Scott Haney. And I'm Nicole Nalepa. Is that your evil Grinch That's laugh? That's my evil. We had snow overnight. <laughs> my evil Grinch laugh. <laughs> a lot of people loved the snow. Though. I know. It it's was very beautiful. exciting. You know, yeah. hopefully it'll stay. I don't think it's going to stick around for Christmas, but what do you know? You never know because we've got a big storm coming up on Friday. So right. Depending on where the model tracks, so we'll certainly keep you posted on that. But in the meantime, Nice to see you. How nice was your weekend? Nice to see you. It was great. Thanks. We got our Christmas cards done. Oh, congrats. That was fast. Thank you. Yeah. It, it felt very <laughs> slow when we were taking them Saturday. We Little uh, little disclaimer, we had all matching PJs, um, and we had Ringo and the kids set up, but it's so hard to get a dog, a three-year-old, and a three-month-old, all looking at the camera, smiling all at once. Yeah, that's a little tough. That's so. where professional photographers come in handy. Well, my husband is one, but it's harder. I keep telling him when it's your own family you're a photographer. Exactly. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> How was your weekend? It was good. good? It was good. Yeah, good. we could talk more about it later, but okay. let's get to the headlines. Oh, yeah, let's get right to the headlines. Well, other than the snow, uh, we are taking you to Vernon because investigators there are trying to figure out what sparked a massive fire at a factory there earlier this morning. At least 12 homes had to be evacuated because of the blaze on Brooklyn Street, and several fire departments were there to try and put it out. So far, there have been no reports of any injuries. We also have a crew at the scene of a fire, um, and we will continue to give you updates on information as soon as that comes into our newsroom, both on air and on the Channel 3 app. Well, many of you woke up to a few inches, if not more, of snow this morning, and depending on where you were, as much as six and a half inches of snow. Right now, <laughs> crews are all over the place trying to clean up those roadways for you and the sidewalks. They made for some slick travel earlier this morning. This is the one thing I don't like about the yeah, snow, Yeah, I had right? a conversation with my car this morning because it's new. I'm blessed to have a new car this year. And I said, this is the first time you're going to see snow. Oh, so yeah. let's all get through it together. Me literally talking to my car talk. at 2 o'clock this morning. <laughs> all right, let's see what we can expect from the rest of the day now that the wintry weather is out of the way. Our Doppler scans the state dry. Good morning, everybody. Time to uh, get out there and start cleaning things up. And I want you to clean things up today because everything is going to refreeze tonight. We're talking about mostly sunny skies during the day today. Absolutely beautiful. But temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler than average. We're only going to be in the low to mid to upper 30s out there. So let's take a look at the rest of the day. Uh, you'll notice 37, 38 for the high today, and then tonight under clear skies, those temperatures are going to plummet into the mid to upper teens. So it's going to be a very chilly night tonight. So we want you to get ready because anything, any standing water out there, mm -hmm. anything that's wet is going to freeze up. And tomorrow we could be dealing with some slick spots on the roads and on the sidewalk. So again, clean it up as best as you can today, and we will take it one step at a time. We'll talk more about that storm coming up a little bit later on in the broadcast. And get out and salt, salt yeah, those salt, sidewalks and. Salt it like Driveways. a pretzel. Ooh, that sounds mm, good. Sounds good is mm. right. Hey, you know what else sounds good? What? NASA is one step closer to making it back to the moon. Does this yes. mean that I'm going to witness you it? Might, uh, it's 2024. Who knows? The Artemis 1 mission and the Orion cruise capsule successfully splashed down to Earth yesterday. This mission was a test run for the new effort to get back to the moon. I can't believe it's wow. been, what, 1969 since the last time we were there? Yeah, 50, 50 years. years. Oh, my goodness gracious. Artemis 1 was uncrewed, but the capsule flew within 80 miles of the moon's surface twice as part of the test flight. NASA is planning a crewed test flight around the moon in 2024 and wants to launch a moon landing within the decade. That is so exciting. But Unbelievable. A very costly endeavor. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> right? $4, Four billion, billion? Is that what we're hearing? Ooh. $4 billion. What an incredible uh, feat that was. And then the ultimate goal is to build a sustainable base on the moon. So if all else fails here on Earth, maybe we'll all move to the moon. They're thinking of sending the director of the uh, Weathersfield Coraliers up, Scott Real. <laughs> really? Yeah, he's going to go up to the moon. He's gonna wow. be, right, Scott? 
Maybe we can chat absolutely. with him he's later. He's like on over that. there going, absolutely. <laughs> we have singers in our studio. Yeah, we today. actually have a live studio audience. Yeah, this like is pretty there's, exciting. A, there's a ton of people here. We're very excited about this. <laughs> More on that and coming up in a little bit. <laughs> Twitter's pay for your check mark service is back. You know the blue official yeah, check mark. Yeah, I'm not paying for it. Yeah, well, the Twitter blue, Twitter blue subscription is launching again today. So users can pay $8 a month for the blue check on their account. Scott's not paying. No, I'm not but if paying. you buy it through the Apple App Store, listen to this. Yeah, it's going to cost you $11. Why? The service had been paused last month due to a spike in fake accounts after an initial launch. Twitter says it'll have a more thorough review process this time before issuing the checks. And you know what that means? Elon Musk, he's not a fan of Apple, I don't mm -hmm. think. Yeah, yeah clearly. clearly. Let's, uh, charge Let, him an let's charge him an extra three bucks to go to the app through the <laughs> Apple store. That's unbelievable. You so. know, I have to say, since he took it over, it seems as though there's... Twitter's just not as popular anymore. Well, it's, it's going down, it's right? It's not popular for me because someone hacked my account and I haven't been able That's to get right. back in. Are you going to go ever? I might have to start time? over. Okay. Like, all, everybody's got to sign up again. Yeah. And like, have all new followers, All everything. new followers and everything. It's a real pain in the kanuka. Yeah. Well, they've had so many issues with fake accounts and hacking, so hopefully they can get it all straight and maybe give us a discount on the blue check. Just give me my blue check. <laughs> all right, the perfect Christmas tree looks different to every family. But one family farm could be the perfect spot to find yours. We sent Marcy Jones to check it out, so she's joining us now. Marcy, where are you? Oh, it's a winter wonderland, Marcy. <laughs> beautiful. Hi there. Oh, my gosh. I know you guys. It's just so beautiful out here. We are at Star Hill Family Farm in Portland, and take a look. I've got some new furry friends right here. We've got some buddy. Wait, we got to pan down. I think we have an escapee underneath the rabbit. Hey, pal. Is it? Oh, oh, okay. Not in the, not in the schmood this morning. He just lost his blue check and he doesn't want to pay eight bucks on Apple. All right, let's go over here and see some more of these really amazing animals out here at Star Hill. Like you mentioned, you guys, picking a Christmas tree looks different for every single family. So we're going to be talking about how to pick the perfect tree if you haven't done so already. Also, we're going to go inside of their really festive barn and possibly see the big guy in red and maybe a grunchy Grinch in green. So stay tuned for that. We've got a lot more coming up here at Star Hill Family Farm. It looks absolutely majestic this yeah, morning, it doesn't it? Beautiful. So With beautiful. With the animals too. Yes. It's like we're transported back to Bethlehem. Bab, right out, right, exactly. <laughs>